one of the big things that we did was, um, and I think I've shown this before in the last couple of meetings, is allow measurements from your LIDAR view to show on your map. So you can see over here, I just drew that and now it will show on the map and it shows the segments when I hover over in the layers panel um, or in the measurements panel. Oops. You can see there's the area and it will show the 2D, 3D, 2D, 3D, because this is a 3D measurement. And you can go over to view it right inside there. And then I can click on it in the uh, LiDAR view and I can view it in the map. So I'll zoom right over there. So you can see contextually where it is. What we did too was allow you to draw measurements on the map in the itself. So now if you had an ortho mosaic and you wanted to draw, uh, you can. And so then we get this. What you'll notice is there's no LiDAR view here because there's no actual Z index. We don't know, or the, there's no elevation on it. You're drawing on a flat plane, so the elevation zero. So it doesn't have any context in the um, LiDAR view and we wouldn't see it over here as well. So when you draw it on a map, it won't show on a LiDAR, but when you draw it on the LiDAR, it will show on the map. Uh, as you hover, you can click and modify it. So you can actually drag over and modify and look at it. And then that gets a safe state. Uh, if I have this closed and I hover and click, it'll open up the active measurement and I can uh, draw it and you'll see the, the numbers and everything updated. I can, you know, edit the title, obviously, um, and it will update there too. So pretty, pretty cool stuff uh, with this. I can actually save this. Uh, I'm on Project 183, so I don't want to save it, uh, but you can take my word for it. Uh, so when you save and reload, uh, the measurements will show there appropriately and you can get the sense of what it is. We do points, lines, and polygons. So here is a line. And then here are some points. The cool thing too is, so like, let's say I drew this um, and I set this, this, these areas. Uh, and I went to save this right now. When I reload, um, this will be the view. So before you couldn't save your map view and, and your map look. So your zoom wasn't saved. It would always take you to kind of this default look where the center is set to the center of the project. Um, and you couldn't like, hey, look at this GCP or whatnot. So now your depth and your zoom level is saved at the time you save it, as well as what layers are turned on and off. So if I were to save this with the trajectory off, the trajectory will not show when you reload it. So that's been a feature we've had asked for. Contours will not stay on or off um, just because of the load, the initial load of contours. Contours are very big. So if you turned on high contours and your customer went to go visit it, um, basically it would slow down their machine because it was trying to load this massive file. Uh, when you hover over a GCP or anything, you, you have to click to open it and then that will give you the information uh, instead of having the card that was there before. Uh, that's to just streamline the look and feel, and then that look and feel will eventually make its way into the LiDAR view as well with more of this contextual information. Tim, is this all, this is all in that defined CRS as well, the pr correct projection? Uh-huh. What if you didn't upload a GeoTIFF? Can you still mark on the base map? Yep. Yep. This yeah, is there's the base no map GeoTIFF here. here. This is... Yeah, this is just the basement. Oh, that is the basement. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so things we're going to be working on now that we have this um, in the coming weeks, you know, we got a lot on our plates, uh, so no promises. But one of the big ones will be exporting. So you'll be able to export as uh, GeoJSON initially, and then hopefully we can transfer that into a KML. Yeah, this is, this is awesome. Uh, other uh, kind of fast follows, as Tim was mentioning, um, ordering. So with this measurement tool and area tool, you'll be able to select a processable area for um, plan metrics on ortho mosaics only. So if you don't have LiDAR data, you only have ortho mosaics, uh, you'll be able to draw your polygon on the map view and set, select that as processable for enhanced processing. Um, so that will be a fast follow as well, uh, and then enabling uh, ortho mosaic um, uh, plan metrics.